Hi friends, we'll try to learn different events, commonly used events associated with the entry box of a Kinter window. And also we'll try to learn what's the difference between a key press and a key release and where you should use what. Before that, my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and we are frequently doing that. We'll start from here. This is our basic Kinter window. You can see here we have declared the our uh, parent window here. Then uh, dimensions 350 by 150, width and height we have declared. Then one label we have placed telling the text name. Then true entry, uh, two entry boxes E1 and E2 here. So second entry box E2 is connected to a string variable. So that we will be using to update the text here. Now let's uh, just save this and see how this looks. Here it is. You can see the label one entry box, second entry box. To this first entry box, we'll add all our events to this. We'll start by adding a focus in or when the entry box is in focus. This will add to the first entry box. So we'll say E1. This is the first entry box bind. So event we are binding. Now what will happen is focus in. Let me just write it here. This is the event focus in. So once this event uh, is happens, when E1 is in focus, I place the cursor on that. Then what I will write it uh, in same line, lambda. Now here the event I had to pass. So N now E1. I am just writing it E1 dot config because config option I can change the any of the attribute here. So I will say BG. BG means background color I am changing to light green. So whenever the cursor goes to this particular E1 enters there, the color should change. You can see we have placed it as E1 background is yellow. Now here it is mentioned as yellow. This will change it to light green. Let me just save this. I'm running. Here it is yellow. Now once I click this, this became uh, light green. Now let's try focus out. That means whenever the focus goes out of this particular entry box. So I just copied this pasting it here because one more event I am writing I am changing this to out so once the I press the tab or move the cursor out of this then this event should uh, trigger now let's change this background color to light yellow so two things will happen once I as long as I am there in that uh, entry box it is light green once I moved out it should change to light yellow let's see this now you see it's deep yellow now now once I am there it's became light green now I can type or whatever I do it now again I am pressing the tab what's this one so it became light green a uh, light yellow so the background has changed if I'll come there again it is again light green now we'll see how when the key is released or a key is pressed how the tree events will handle so for that let me again copy up to this point and pressing it here so here I'll write it key release because key press or release whatever you want to use you can use it. I prefer release and better also because that is where the key events we can uh, end up the event. So key release. Now here instead of writing a one liner here I will trigger a function here. Now you for the other two also you can do the same thing. Now I am writing my upd or my update. Where is my update? I have to write that function now. What I am doing it is here define my upd update. Now here I am getting the event. So I will write it here. Now next inside this function I will write one liner str1. What is str1? This is the string variable. I will just explain set. Set the value of this string variable. Which, where it will set it? Now e1 get. Now e1 dot get. So E1 gate will read whatever the value written on the first entry box. Then it will set the string variable str1. Now this str1 here we have declared it as a string variable. We can write a string var. So this string var is connected to the our second entry box here as text variable. So what happens as the str1 change the values or it values it changes that will be reflected on the second entry box. That means what will happen the moment a key release event is triggered this function is called de define this function is called 
let me give a gap yeah this function is called and str1 is updated with the value whatever the user enters in the first entry box then same thing will be reflected on the second so this is just copying the whatever user enter in first list box to second uh l e a c right so let's just yeah so here it is now our previously moment i my focus is that it is changed now i am writing a you just see whatever i am entering here moment i am key release event is triggered b so d so the, the once the key release is triggered this fun this function like line number 16 is called and this str1 string variable is set whatever i entered here even if i write few more this thing and if i delete also the same thing is every time the key is released this event is triggered and the same thing runs this function and reflect the data in the second entry box now let's change this to key press so and see the effect you will find notice one change here let's run this and see okay the same thing now i'll click this now i am entering a it's not copied b now the first character is copied there c then i am pressing d e you can see that one character last character is not getting or it is lagging by uh, one key uh, one event why it is happening the reason is you can see here this particular this trigger once the first the this event is getting triggered then the character is entering so always it next key press only this is picking up the string so that is why let me remove this and try once again now again i am pressing say x now it is not picked up though the character has the event was triggered but by the time the event was triggered there was no nothing was entered so it didn't get copy now next one when i am entering so this is the difference what you will understand between a key press and a key release so based on your requirement you can use either key press or key release that's all friends hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and understood the concept of difference between uh, key press and key release my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and we are frequently doing that also and if you have any doubt suggestion comments or any ideas use the comment section below to post it please share this with your friends and thank you for watching